I was in my first apartment without my parents, so I went and bought a Christmas tree. It's one Christmas, uh, I was home from college, and we were at church, and my brothers and I, looking very dapper in our suits, I might add, decided to get a photo with my mom and dad. And I go to the department store, and I see this sale on isotoner gloves. Um, drug it upstairs, had it up, decorated it, had it really pretty. Great, I'll just give everybody one and my shopping will be done. And it was a really good photo and so we decided to make that our Christmas card. Next morning woke up, went outside and I saw all these memos around the entire complex. My dad, knowing that I had some basic skills with Photoshop, tasked me to send out the Christmas card. Um, said that they had found pine needles all over the apartment complex and they wanted to make sure that we remembered that we are not allowed to have live trees. So we get there and we're all sitting around and we start to exchange gifts. I was so shocked. I quickly ran back into the house, closed the door, pushed the tree off the balcony and after I pushed it off the balcony, I ran downstairs. I took it and drug it into the forest behind the apartment complex and everybody bought everybody a pair of gloves. So I walked out of there that Christmas with like three pairs of isotoner gloves. And the only person who didn't get any gloves was my grandmother. But the funny part was, she's the only one that asked for them. We decided to superimpose Mr. T right with our family. And so we did that and sent those out as our Christmas cards without telling mom and dad. It was the greatest Christmas ever. I love Mr. T. I pity the fool who don't wish you a happy holiday. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Uh, I'm so glad to see the wet. <laughs>